Hey everybody, Burf from Stars Gaming here, back with another episode of our Crusader Kings 2 Elder Kings mod let's play. So, last time around we tried to usurp some titles in High Rock by using claimants of certain titles to attack uh, or, you know, enforce their claims on other provinces. But I made a mistake and I forgot to grant them land before I did so. And so we basically gave this guy territory without him being part of our kingdom, and I kind of messed that up. So thank you to um, Leo King for pointing that out, that I need to first make them land it in my kingdom before I do that for them. Otherwise, they just end up like him as an independent little entity. Um, so, we've got a couple things to do today. We need to continue doing so, but first we need to make sure that they have land in our kingdom, otherwise, uh, you know, things won't go very well for us. So, who's our next target? We do have somebody, I believe, who's got a claim on Evermore. Let's see. Courtier in Skyrim. Yeah, that's him right there. He's actually... This guy's better. Let's bring him over, too, because he will accept our invitation. I don't know if we'll enforce that uh, claim, but we'll bring him over nonetheless. So, we've got two people for Evermore. Um, I don't know what to do about him. Don't know what to do about him. Hmm. Why can't I usurp that stupid Yarldom of his? Huh. There's like nobody who can take it. Frustrating. Anywho, let's see. Well, now that he's solo, I might be able to just conquer him outright. We could conquer this guy since he won't join us willingly. So, I mean, it's going to piss him off a little bit, but we could do that. Everybody else in the area worth conquering, I think. Yeah, we've got a truce against him. A truce against him and a truce against these guys so let's go ahead and do that go ahead and conquest this and I'm gonna start marching this army that we got over there they're, they're not gonna make it for this war more than likely but we'll get them over here because they are more or less expendable and we are gonna need troops for this so obviously we're just gonna keep pushing west so we may as well have them over there and ready. Uh, she's not going to give me any troops. Okay, how are we looking? Let's get you guys as well. And I think we'll have everybody meet in Volkskeig. Oh, a couple more. Okay, we'll send them up as well. It's an extra, like, 300 or so. Alright. Clock rolling. Our usual events. What just happened? Oh, right. He came. He came to our court with his wife and kids. All right. Seeks to kidnap somebody. Let's put a stop to that. And get things rolling again. Now we'll see what this turns out being. I imagine it'll be just under 2,000 troops, I'm hoping. Ah, uh, he's voting against me again. How are we doing on that front? Ooh, tied with Tolan, huh? Well, as long as we outlive Tolan, that won't be an issue. He's already 60, we are 54, so... As long as he dies first, it shouldn't be a problem. Otherwise, we might have to try to, like, sabotage him or something. Uh, who can we arrest now? Seeks to kill somebody, huh? Yeah, can you not? Alright, there we go. Trying to revoke somebody's them, huh? Dude, these guys are... Let's see, where is he? He's, like, eating up all the territory in this area. I think he already revoked, like, another title, and now he's working on his second. I guess he's not that powerful, though. 
Ooh. Groups of decrepit Falmer, blah blah blah. I'll pay it. Mayor Vrag of Whiterun died of depression. And... What is this? An arranged marriage between... Bedane Horley and some random courtier of mine. Who are you? Interesting. I accept because I have no clue who you are. Nice headband. Okay. Oh, we're actually going to break 2,000. I guess my accounting skills aren't very good. But yeah, we will break 2,000. In fact, we'll get pretty close to 3. Ooh, okay. Let's see. What just happened here? Um... Oh, crap. Did not see that coming. At all. So, he's got it as well. He's probably going to die. Damn, that is brutal. There goes our whole plan right out the door. Um, okay, we got to turn things around here pretty quickly. I'm going to nominate my other daughter. And hopefully people will get behind that. We need a new Magister. Uh, we'll go with Safari, I guess. And yeah, geez. So the Dragonborn... or Sorry, the Dragonborn's son is probably going to die of Crimson Plague. Our daughter just died of it. Wow, there's an outbreak, isn't there? Uh, yeah, Vilkus has it. I think a lot of people are starting to drop from it. That's scary. We got hit pretty hard before in this playthrough, and I'm hoping we don't get hit that badly again. Okay, so a couple of people are voting for her. She does not have it. Although her husband is a moron. I need to get rid of him. Come on, where's, where's the assassinate option? No valid plots, of course. Uh... That sucks. Okay, well, let's continue with our war anyways. Oh, good, we got a bunch of backing already. Crimson Plague, Crimson Plague, Crimson Plague, and we have new air. Perfect. Okay. Let's get rolling here. Doesn't look like they're going to try to stop me. Wow, everybody threw their vote in for her. She's at six already. There's another Crimson Plague. Somebody's trying to kill the guy we just brought over. Let's put a stop to that. Because we might need him. Natural death, huh? So the Crimson Plague has only killed my daughter so far. It hasn't killed anybody else. Unless I didn't read that last one. It might have killed her too, but... So far, the death toll has not been so bad. You know, minus the fact that it killed our heir. And honestly, the fact that it killed her wasn't so bad. We obviously have a decent replacement. It's just the fact that she was the one who was hopefully going to have the dragon blood heir. And now, that becomes exceedingly more difficult. Because we need to basically divorce her and then track down somebody with another dragon blood trait to uh, marry. We could go for Vilkus again, try to find him wherever he went, but, uh, you know, it's another thing that we have to secure in order to make this work. Oh, there's another death. And another infected. Some people say that my temperance prevents me from properly enjoying life. I should stop being so prudish. Such people are merely fools, or maybe they have a point. Uh. Eh. None of that doesn't seem to really benefit me much. So I'll just kind of ignore it. Uh, there we go. 
This should be fairly quick. Oh, he might have Crimson Plague. Oh, he's got Cholera. That's bad. Let's see. Is always fatal unless a cure is provided very quickly. Let's see what we can do about that. Um, I think if we go to... Intrigue, we can use Spellbook. And we can... Fortify Health. Otherwise... I don't see what... Resist Disease. Oh, uh, that's just gonna help the province. Let's just do uh, Fortify Health on him. Let's see, I will cast a... I don't know how much magic we have. Do the best one we can. Otherwise you're gonna die. Like, minus six health. Most characters don't even have that much health. I think five or six is usually the average. Close. Another Crimson Plague. Two Crimson Plagues. Great. These guys are taking pretty heavy attrition as they move. Uh, what are you doing now? Rumor. Seeks to kidnap. Yeah, how about you don't? And Crimson Plague, of course. Good. He survived. That magic helped us. Contracted and died. Ooh. So that's, I think, like three deaths from the Crimson Plague now. There's another infected. Gotta try to stay on top of this disease. Oh, there's another one down. Yeah, Crimson Plague. It's starting to really pick up. It worries me. Really worries me. This uh, siege is taking quite a while, too. I don't feel too well. Crap. Favors himself, huh? Well, at least we're ill and not Crimson Plague. Just regular illness. But he is depressed, too, which is a bit worrying. Hmm. What's going on here? Crimson Plague? Yeah, people are really starting to drop dead. There's just two more. Rumor. Another contraction. Two. Three. Wow. This is not looking good. I'm going to... Well, we don't really have any more magic. At least I don't think so. I'm going to close this. It doesn't say where... I don't know where to look to see how much magic we have. We just used 15, though. Another dead of the Crimson Plague. And let's see. Assuming... Oh, he just didn't inherit it. Okay. Man, that is a long-ass siege. Especially for one so one-sided. It's probably because I keep pausing, too, to see who keeps dying. Natural death, okay. That's not so bad. Seeks to kill. Yeah, let's let's not do that. And let's see. We need a new chancellor. Well, you're the best choice. Uh, you know what? You can lead armies if you want. I don't really have anything else for her to do. And who's being stupid now? You are. Okay, we'll put an end to that. And we got trolls. I'll pay to have them dealt with. And the king survives yet again. Our siege is over. And that's the end of that war. So let's go ahead and enforce our demands. He will accept and become part of our kingdom. And he's still pretty happy toward us. So that's cool. Now we need to decide where to head next. I fairly certain. Oh, he's going to die of Crimson Plague too. I'm fairly certain that we still have a uh, truce with those guys. Uh, or do we? 
What's their banner look like? Oh, right, it's these guys, okay. In that case, we do. So we'll have to wait a little bit on that. In the meantime, I suppose we can go ahead and disband this army. They lost about half half of their troops just marching across the country, which is kind of a shame. We still got a truce against them. I guess we could try Evermore next. We will need to give some land to whoever we're going to... Who's ever claim we're going to press here. So, let's go look at our court. And we've got a couple options. We have... Where did he go? This guy. And I assume his brother. They have the same last name. He's the better character, though, and he does have heirs. So I'm going to go ahead and try to enforce his... We will grant you a landed title. Let's see, we give him Royan. New grad, which is way the heck down here. Riften, Markarth, or Westmarch, which is out here. Hmm, I think I'm going to give him Royan. Just because if anything goes wrong, at least that's not technically Skyrim. So, if it falls to anybody outside of our kingdom, it's falling outside our main borders, I guess. So we will give him that. And that's a pretty cool banner. Then I think we will go ahead and declare war to claim... Ah, oh, we can still only do one at a time. That's really frustrating. Oh, no, there we go. That's basically everything except Dorvin. That's pretty sweet. Huh. Would I still... Yeah, okay, then there's no reason not to do that. Alright, well, we'll press his claim. We'll call in allies, because why not? Uh, she might. And he might. He He's going to be the most useful just because of his proximity to what's happening. Because he's right there. And then we will call up all 15,000 of our levies. I'm going to send you guys in as like the vanguard. You're going to fall back. And then everybody else is going to join in. Let's see. I'll get you guys to here. I'll get this group to about here no well it looks like there's disease everywhere so it doesn't really matter where we go but something like that and then everybody here will start marching to Karth Weston. and if they get there and manage to form an army before the war ends then we'll put them to use and same with these guys if we can find a use for them before the war ends Great. We'll move them to Ingmarok, or whatever that says. And let's get started. Not a whole lot of uh, soldiers on their side. He's going to honor, she's going to honor it. So, we've got allies all over it, looks like. And, oh, perfect. All three of them. What's this about? Oh, I closed the other one, so. We won't get to see what that one's all about, but oh well. We got a war on our hands, that's all that really matters. Looks like Advar is leading the charge, too. And I thought we were trying to. Hang on here, seeks to kill. Yeah, we gotta do something about that. So, in a previous episode, I had thought we sent somebody after her husband. Covert actions, yeah, let's try that again. Because I want him gone. Especially if she's to become our heir. Wow, those guys are just hemorrhaging men. Like, they're not going to have an army left by the time they get over here. At least we're getting a head start, though. But this is going to be a pretty significant land grab for us. Basically, we're going to get all of that kingdom short of... Ooh, some free gold. Short of Dorvin right here. Which I am absolutely fine with. We already have 
some land up here, which kind of throws me. It's part of the Yarldom of Corvinjun, too, which is even weirder. So weird. Oh well. Uh, ooh, we got an army ready to go right there. Falk Hammer seeks to seduce, seeks to seduce. So we'll ignore those. And what happened now? Chairman York of Go See Merchants. Okay, so. The. Right, he died. This guy's the new chairman. 83. Well, not bad. Died a natural death. Let's get on your better side. We will send you a gift. And let's see. We'll grant you some honors as well. Okay. Back to war. Looks like they called in some allies as well. I don't think it'll matter, though. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. These guys are losing men so fast, I just don't understand. They went from, like, 7,900 men to 2,300 men. They're probably still dropping like flies. Oh, we got a Thieves Guild. Great. I can afford to, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. 1600. Looks like we got another roughly a thousand men ready to join them. I mean, at the very least, we'll have several armies to uh, siege with. Let's get you guys in there as well. Uh, you know what? That's a fairly large army. I'm going to send them to the capital. You guys can head into Castle Joy. Let's get them merged. Let's get you guys merged. Why don't you join them? Actually, no. That's slightly smaller. Cool, that's mine. Anything else? No. Alright, well, we'll head down to here. This might be a fairly long war just because of the size of this kingdom, but at least we're grabbing the whole kingdom at once and not piece by piece. That's always frustrating. I think they're done. They might be done up there. No, they're headed there. They're headed there as well, so we'll wait. Although they're going to be like 4,000 strong when they get there. These guys are kind of small in comparison. Hmm. Well, I suppose this is as good, as stop, uh, as good a place to stop as any. Because we're just going to have to kind of wait this one out. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit. And I will see you guys back here for the next part of our Crusader Kings 2 Elder Kings mod let's play.